Philippines is no doubt a beautiful country. It has more than 7,000 islands that you can explore. As what they say, if you visit one island per day, it would take you two years to visit them all. With its pristine beaches, friendly and nice weather, it is still one of the top destinations in the world. Aside from beautiful places, it's cheap. Airlines from island to island, food, accommodations, and transportation. And the best part, almost everyone understands and speaks English. So trust me, you don't want to get deported from this beautiful country. So here are the things that you don't know that could get you deported. Well, aside from the obvious, felony, crime, such as murder of any sort, sexual abuse of any sort, illegal drugs, and so on and so forth. So here are the things that you don't know that could get you deported. <laughs> Top three, political rally. During 2018, a 71-year-old Australian missionary, Patricia Fox, joined a rally with farmers, workers, and those less fortunate. Now, she did have a good intention, but according to Immigration Operation Order Number SBM 2015-025, prohibits any foreigner from joining, supporting, contributing, or involving themselves in whatever manner in any rally, assembly, or gathering, whether, take a note of this, against the government or for the government. She was then filed a deportation case, and according to her statement, she confessed that she was joining multiple rally for years. She admitted the crime that she was accused of, and got deported so if you somehow see a rally or just thinking that it is a rally please don't go near them if you need to take a picture go ahead but please don't stay with them just turn around and walk away you should be at least 10 meters away from them because if someone took a picture of you within the rally and you know, social media and how they sensationalize everything, this may lead to a conflict with the immigration. Top two, our national anthem. When you see people standing, pausing, some of them putting their palm on the, over their chest, facing her flag, and the music is playing, then most likely they will or are singing our national anthem. What not to do? Do not dance, shout, or anything that may get their attention. Just be respectful and stand. No need to put your palm on your chest. If you need to walk, please make it discreet and don't walk through the crowd. You don't want to happen to you what happened to Matthew Garland Mitchell. Mitchell is a Filipino-American basketball player imported to play a team in the Philippines. On that day, he was with his team on the ground near the flagpole. Of all the Filipino-Americans and foreigners with him, he was taped with his headphone on, dancing while the national anthem was playing. He was then found guilty of making a mockery of the Philippine national anthem and the national flag. He was ordered to leave the country for being undesirable alien. He was not able to finish his contract as a basketball player. Top 1. Our Philippine flag. We know a lot of countries allow their flag to be used as clothes, socks, beach towels, or whatever you can do from a cloth, but not ours. With our Philippine flag, we have a lot of don'ts. According to our law, well, let me just state the obvious. Do not cut, do not ridicule, don't make it a tablecloth, 
or anything that you can wipe something on it don't add any figure maybe a drawing or design paint on it or anything that made the face flag there was a video taken of a foreigner in Cebu which somehow though blurry believed to be using a Philippine flag as a bath towel that was rude but I felt sorry for this guy because he did not know about the law I just recently know that there are some sites that sells these towels with the Philippine flag printed on them they even sell hand towels please don't patronize them it doesn't help you with the immigration this is an insult to the entire country especially the bath mat I mean you stamp your feet on it and it has our flag come on we are proud and very respectful of our flag so if you have our Philippine flag with you just please do not use it aside from it being a highly respected symbol of our beloved country and one thing this is very very important if somehow you do carry our Philippine flag with you our law has a particular way of folding it if it's not folded as the way it should be there will be sanctions so better research so please don't get deported we still want you back have a nice vacation thank you for watching please like comment and subscribe to my channel thank you